since Bitcoin's invention in 2008, cryptocurrencies have risen as an attractive alternative asset class with trillions of dollars in. With their unchecked growth that's still improving, crypto assets have gone on to give new and attractive opportunities to market participants. In today's day and age of economics, uncertainty further exacerbated since the pandemic hit, financial advisors are telling everyone to have more than one source of income. Here's what we can tell you about generating a passive income with Bitcoin mining and some similar options. The start. In the early years, for example, most investors only profited from proof-of-work mining and the price rise of digital currencies. Then came along the very first coin offering investors a boom followed by a move toward proof-of-stake consensus mechanisms and the ability to stake assets to achieve rewards. But in the last few years, we've seen the insane meteoric rise of the ecosystem, which has, to a large extent, influenced the crypto space in terms of the potential to make money. Before we continue, we have to remind our viewers that crypto investments and assets bring with them a special set of unique risks that must be understood and considered beforehand. How do you earn passive crypto income? There are around four types of passive income opportunities concerning cryptocurrencies, mining, staking, liquidity mining, and lending. Crypto mining. To put it simply, decentralized blockchains rely very heavily on validators or entities that gather, verify, process, and broadcast transactions on the platform. These validators are motivated by block rewards and transaction fees, and in exchange, they get to keep the integrity of the blockchain network. However, since blockchains call for a sort of trustless transparency, these validators are not selected by any central authority and are thoroughly discouraged by consensus mechanisms from overseeing transactions in bad faith. These consensus mechanisms are the base of any blockchain, with the most famous being proof of work and proof of stake. Cryptocurrency mining refers to participation in a proof of work network, like Bitcoin, where validators are mandated to dedicate computing power to compete against other validators, all of which, together, see to it that the network can't be compromised by bad actors. Those interested in mining crypto need to know of the blockchains that encourage proof-of-work. Mining proof-of-work cryptocurrencies needs mining machines such as ASICs or application-specific integrated circuits, which are specifically created just for mining. Users who have mining machines decide the appropriate mining pools to kick off cryptocurrency mining as solo mining has now become insanely competitive. Why you need a passive income Steve Fisher, the writer of Residual Millionaire, gives us a simple definition of passive income. Simply put, as money that comes in every month whether you show up or not. It's when you no longer get paid for your personal efforts alone, but rather get paid for the efforts of hundreds or even thousands of others and on the efforts of your money. It's one of the keys to financial freedom and freedom of time. The advent of passive income is not a recent one. Prior to the cryptocurrency industry catching the craze, people were already earning from the usual go-to ways of passive income, methods such as affiliate marketing, stock investments being the most well-known, among others. In the cryptocurrency field, passive income methods usually come in the form of mining, hosting masternodes, and staking, also including yield farming and liquidity mining. Following the advent of Bitcoin, mining became the earliest way to set up a mode of passive income through cryptocurrencies. Crypto mining basically means using computational power to bag a network and settle transactions in return for a reward. When seen in comparison to its early days, back when Bitcoin could be mined using central processing units, a rise in hash rates has coerced miners to make the shift away from graphics processing units. Although Bitcoin mining is still a very profitable venture, the field is now ruled by corporations with impressive resources. In March 2021, Bitcoin miners raked in more than $1.5 billion in profits, with mining revenue boosted to a daily high of even more than $52 million. Aside from Bitcoin mining, there is staking, which is a less resource-reliant option instead of mining. It often involves securing capital in a wallet and going through some set functions to get rewards. Ahead of Ethereum's transformation to a proof-of-stake network, its beacon staking contract is a trailblazer among the pack as the biggest POS cryptocurrency through market capitalization. Over 4.5 million ETH has also been staked on this contract. At present market prices, 
This rounds up to about $18 billion. In more recent times, the market has shifted away from mining and staking to yield farming and lending instead. This shift was sparked by the 2020 DeFi boom. The core principle behind it stays the same. Make your cryptocurrencies earn even while you sleep. How sustainable is this? Proof-of-stake blockchains are debatably the staple of passive income in the crypto field. But they also warn us of just how unsustainable the system can become. Platforms that offer high staking rewards have no issue getting new users who are eager to double or even triple their investments within small periods of time. However, it's tricky to think of how these networks can remain profitable for too long. As the ongoing supply of these projects starts to increase, everyone's holdings rapidly become diluted since most of these projects don't offer more functionality besides staking. Assuming the primary use case of a staking blockchain is staking, ultimately you have to question the other utilities that these chains can give us. The conclusion we can draw here is that blockchains that offer passive income, be it through staking or mining, have to offer extra products and services to stay profitable, reliable, and sustainable. What is a PSI? Passive income, PSI, is one of the rare blockchain creations that have come to recognize this inherent challenge. The blockchain is creating an exciting concept to the passive income niche. First off, PSI drives sustainability and passive income via numerous economic activities. It uses tokenization to improve yield generation to decentralize the passive income that's generated. At the heart of the solution, PSI wants to upgrade on existing passive income systems, making them more affordable and accessible to everyone. Another project that is at the focus of passive income in the cryptocurrency space is Uniswap. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, or DEX, that lets people trade one ERC-20 token for another straight from a Web3 wallet. The main difference to note between a DEX like Uniswap and other centralized exchanges, for example Binance, is that the exchanges are facilitated by liquidity providers. Basically meaning an investor can put their unused money to use and create passive income by turning into a liquidity provider on Uniswap. Even though there are many other blockchain projects that have made their mark in the passive income niche, Yearn Finance is another platform worth mentioning. The yield aggregator and DeFi ecosystem brings the maximum yield for its users. The interesting thing about Yearn Finance is that it lets you choose the DeFi protocol that's bringing the most yearly percentage yield based on their risk tolerance. Investors can earn lending fees from both Yearn and Curve through the Y pool feature too. Passive income blockchains are still very much alive and relevant. Passive income in the cryptocurrency space is pretty much like a Hydra. If one stops working, there are several others to take over and do its job instead. So actually, these platforms may never become irrelevant. Look at staking blockchains. For example, the entire market cap of all POS coins as of now stands at around 12.6 billion. About 8 billion out of this figure is frozen in staking wallets. This confirms the fact that a lot of crypto investors are still staking. But should any of these projects become unsustainable and just finish off, you can be assured that there will be 10 more new ones to instantly show up to take their place and offer similar features and make similar promises. The real solution. The real problem doesn't lie in staking or any other passive income methods. The issue resides in the sole reliance on a single stream of income. That being said, a project based on just the transaction fees without any economic activity to go with it is bound to flop. Passive income blockchains have to see beyond transactional fees and the holding to earn model. The first step really should be to build. This means having a minimum viable product, a reliable community, good partnerships, and a wide ecosystem of network participants.